Good morning. Good morning. We are extremely pleased that you are here. This is deliberate creating at its best. You know what you are wanting? Yes. You do, do you? <laughs> Hard to isolate that, isn't it? It's a moving target. What you want keeps changing, doesn't it? Do you change with it? Your desires are born from what you're living. You can't stop those rockets of desires. When life helps you or causes you to calibrate by your observation of a situation to something unwanted, without you being consciously aware, you are simultaneously calibrating to something that you do want. You just can't help it. When you know what you do not want, a rocket of clarity in this equal calibration wave is born. And now there's a sort of tug of war going on within you of a newly birthed desire and your current perspective about your ability to accomplish it. You want it, but because it never happens that an experience causes you to want something without you having a right now current vibrational attitudinal perspective about it. So it's just normal as it can be normal, 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 normal for you to have split energy in the birthing of a desire because the desire was born out of the clear awareness of something not wanted in fact you don't even get focused until you know what you don't want what you don't want focuses you at every level of your being even at a cellular level at that cellular level your cells are continually realigning when something gets out of whack usually because of something that you're thinking or eating or doing and so as something gets out of whack in your body, your cells right away assess the situation, calibrate to what's wrong and simultaneously calibrate to the solution because it is the most normal thing. We're sort of uh, all full of ourselves today too, <laughs> because it is the most normal thing in all of the universe that when some focus about something occurs, that the improvement occurs simultaneously because we are all continually evolving, aren't we? So when you know what you don't want, you know what you do want at some level of your being, maybe not consciously, but now you've launched rockets of desire. We like so much to explain that to you. And those rockets of desire, those solutions to problems and answers to questions are happening all around you all day, every day. And the cooperative components to your solutions are being gathered. The cooperative components to your solutions that will lead you on this joyful path of unfolding happen all day, every day. But you are often not in the vibrational vicinity of the solution because you're still justifying the problem. Still wanting others to understand that you've got a problem. Still trying to explain to them how long you've been in this problem and how much you don't like this problem and how unfair it is that you have this problem. And so as you keep calibrating to the problem, well, the good news is the more you calibrate to the problem, the more you calibrate to the solution. In other words, oh, we need to tell you, you have a split personality. <laughs> you are you, but you are you, you know? In other words, you were source energy only before you came into this body. And when you came into this body, that source energy perspective remains as a constant, a constant evolving light, a constant evolving point of attraction. So when you launch these new rockets of desires, you're not just launching rockets of desires. You're becoming, you're becoming more. Not enough money, you become more prosperous. Not enough balance, you become more stable. Not enough clarity, you become more clear. In other words, it's just the way this magnificent, perfectly balanced universe works. This never-ending, eternal, 
ongoing life that is you just keeps evolving but the question that you want to ask and we want to ask you and we want you to think about especially while we are here together today while the solutions and answers are rampant in the room we want you to think about when you launch the rocket of desire where you are in terms of your human personality in relationship to it because usually you're not up to speed and that's just fine we just want you to know when you're not up to speed we just want you to know we're not asking you to always be up to speed in the moment that you launch a rocket that's not the way it works we're not asking you to launch a rocket and be right there every single time because we want you to enjoy the journey from not alignment to alignment we want you to feel what it feels like to calibrate into the frequency of who you really are that's life that's the nugget that you came for that's what rings your bells that's what turns you on that's who you are you are an evolving being not a perfect being you are an eternal being not a finished being you are someone who will continually expand not someone who expanded and now it's done you are expanding you are becoming you are eternal and we want you to chill out more <laughs> and be less critical of yourself in others about your growth pains you don't look at little kids that are one or two years old and say grow up <laughs> now you give them time and we want you to give yourself time to grow into what your inner being has already calibrated what the law of attraction has already calibrated in terms of your solutions and your answers you got to give yourself a break and the only way that you can do that is with the knowledge of how this all works stop asking impossible things of yourself stop asking that when life has caused you to focus upon something and it doesn't feel good when you focus upon it stop asking yourself to feel good anyway that's what denial is and stuffing it is and hypocrisy is that's what not being real is but don't be too real either <laughs> because if you're so real about what is that you form groups come to our group what's it called reality we have this reality workshop what do you do there we focus on bad stuff and confirm with the others in the group that they see it too don't be real don't be the facers of reality be the continual conscious creators of new realities because you're always creators of new realities but when you are consciously aware of the new reality that you're creating that's when life is as you knew it would be and wanted it to be when you decided to participate in this way so you were source energy before you came into this body and as you came into this body you came knowing that you would explore this magnificent contrasting variety knowing that it would continually cause you to calibrate you get what we mean when you focus upon something you join the wave of it you ever been in a group and they're complaining about something and you're not there very long before oh I get this group yeah I've got stuff in my past that matches this in fact I think I've got more stuff in my past that matches this than most of them so you calibrate by your attention by your conversation and the first thing that joins you is your memory of past sucking experiences <laughs> so you calibrate but the thing that is so interesting is that the whole time you are calibrating to what you do not want or calibrating to something that has been or even something that is you can't do that without an equivalent wave of the other end of that wave occurring in other words problem solution the question is and the answer is would you like the answer to the question first the answer is you cannot calibrate to the solution while you're calibrated to the problem you just got to decide so you got to back up from it and be more general and say things to yourself such as well this is a problem but there is a solution and I know I will find the solution and I'm looking forward to the solution
Yeah.